All right, guys. Hey, welcome to the Matthew Stewart Real Estate Show here on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the button if you haven't subscribed. We're going to give you lots of valuable content throughout the year and the following years and so on for you sellers to get your home sold for top dollar and the quickest amount of time or shortest amount of time as possible. And you buyers, we're going to get your offers, little tips and tricks, get your offers uh presented and seen and accepted more so than other buyers you're going to be probably competing against this spring. Spring in 2017 is going to be a big one in Sacramento. Back to the Matthew Stewart Real Estate Show. Let's get right to it. Okay, this is the five things that you're going to need to do now right after the Christmas season to get your home ready in time to be ready for the spring selling season. Number one, this is key you guys. Pay attention to this. You need to disassociate yourself from your home. And that's tough to do, especially coming right after the Christmas season. I get it. It's all decorated. It's so cozy and it's your home. I get it. But you need to focus on the future, not the past. Okay? I get it. All the memories are in the past and so on. You're going to have to somehow encapsulate those, put those away, and focus on the next house that you're going to get, whether it be bigger, smaller, whatever it is it's super important because that's going to be the foundation and the motivation to get you to do some of the other things that I'm going to ask you to do. Okay? So number one, disassociate yourself from the house. Number two, you guys, curb appeal. This is the top five things you need to do to get ready to, for the selling season in spring. Number two, curb appeal and clean the outside. Okay? So you're going to want to mow the grass, obviously, rake the leaves, trim the trees, prune the bushes. Okay? Uh, you also want to make sure that the, um, that the uh, number of your house uh, is displayed on the curb, nice, freshly painted. You can get the kids in the neighborhood, I don't know what it is, five, ten bucks, whatever, and they'll paint it nice for you. Make sure on the house that your house number is uh, properly displayed and, and is nice. Is it rusted or hanging by a nail or whatever it is? Make sure it's clean and fresh. Okay, the other thing is uh, cobwebs, obviously. Make sure the cobwebs are out around the entry. Trim those bushes that, as you're walking to the entry, haven't made your sidewalk go from four feet wide to two feet wide. Now, I door knock a lot of homes in my farm, and it's amazing that people don't trim those. So trim those so it's a nice, free you know, way into the front door. And then also pressure wash. The, the front, the front of the house, the walkways, and so on. It really makes a huge difference. Number three, front door and entry. Super important, you guys. This is, the, this is drawing them into your home. So you've done the curb appeal. Now you want to make sure as they get closer into your home, that front door just basically is like a magnet pulling them in the house. So uh, a couple things. You want to make sure that all the light, outside lights work. Don't have a burned out light right outside the garage, the front door entry. The other thing is make sure that uh, the doorbell works and, and the button isn't you know, decomposed or worn out or what have you, that happens to them. So replace the doorbell, make sure that's all clean and functioning. Uh, get a new welcome mat, okay? My wife suggests a new welcome mat, it's a great idea. They're not very expensive, nice fresh welcome mat, okay? Also, and maybe a, a possible pot of flowers is really nice, throwing a little color there Make sure you declutter the front of your door. Don't put all your shoes, and I know you want them to take their shoes off before they come in. Have them pick them up, put them in the closet while it's on the market or getting ready, okay? Get that habit going. Lastly, make sure you paint the door. A fresh, clean, painted door is just so inviting. And make sure it's a color that is different than the house color. That way that the door will really, really pop, okay? So number three, front door and entry. So that wraps up one, two, and three out of the five things that you need to do as a seller after the Christmas season so you're ready for the spring selling season. Okay, The Matthew Stewart Real Estate Show, please subscribe to my channel there. Just hit the subscribe button and give me some comments and some love and some likes if you will. I really do appreciate it. And if you want to reach out to us and, and potentially use our services to help you with the sale of your home, obviously we would love that. It's what we've done 17 years and helped hundreds of families uh, throughout the greater Sacramento area do that. My phone number, 916-718-2979. Or you can go to our website, www.matthewstewartrealestate.com. See you next show. Before we go, did you subscribe? Did you hit the subscribe button? Did you give me some comments? Give me some love, some likes, what have you?
please do.